Okay, so you love France, you love everything to do with the French language and you're going off to study French. Which dictionary should you invest in? And a dictionary is an essential investment if you're learning or studying or using a language. We've got three options here today. We've got the complete and unabridged with 200,000 references. We've got the concise with approximately 150,000 references and the dictionary and grammar with approximately 80,000 references. And which should you choose? Well, let's say you're thinking about doing an A-level and after that A-level you want to go off and study French at university. It's going to be your main subject. You love everything to do with France, French culture, Canada, Canadian French culture, or even Francophone Africa then probably the dictionary that you want is the complete and unabridged. This has got everything in it that you need for a French language degree. Over 200,000 references, modern words, all the latest vocabulary, a whole wealth of information on how to use French on a day-to-day -day basis. If you're maybe thinking about French as a subsidiary subject, perhaps you want to do fine art and you want to go and spend some time in France because you love going around the Louvre, or perhaps you want to do marketing but you want to move into marketing French cheeses, and maybe French is a subsidiary subject for your, for your degree, then in that case probably the concise dictionary is the option for you. It'll have everything that you need in it if French is a subsidiary subject for you. If you're maybe thinking about your year abroad or you're maybe thinking about travelling in France, then probably you want to take the French dictionary and grammar with you. Let's face it, the concise and the complete and unabridged, just a bit too heavy to go in the suitcase. So this is the one that you would take with you. 80,000 words, it's got everything in it that you would need on a day-to-day -day basis. So everything that you need, all the words you need for opening a bank account, for finding yourself a job, for finding yourself accommodation and a really good comprehensive grammar at the back to help you make sure that everything that you say and everything that you write is going to be correct and is going to be understood.